Um, another thing in this delta math is literal equations. So remember, literal equations were just solving for the variable they tell you to. So you've got to read and tell which one. And also, it tells you to pay attention to whether a letter is capitalized or not. When you type these in, it matters a lot if you type in a capital or a lowercase letter because they view those as two different letters. So uh, remember, I recommend marking or circling. Uh, the letter I'm supposed to be starting with. So in this case, it's the H. And then I'm like, how do I get H by itself? Well, I get H by itself. It's being multiplied by an N. So I divide both sides by N. So my answer should be that H is equal to 4 over N. So uh, when you type that in, you could just type in a 4. And the fraction, you can use the divide symbol. It should be beside your shift key on a keyboard. Uh, so 4 divided by N. And um, the fraction bar is a division because a fraction is just a division that hasn't happened yet. Submit your answer. It'll ask you to confirm. And we did get that one right. Let's go ahead and try another one. Okay. Um, this one I have, uh, I'm trying to solve for D. So I need to get the D by itself. So to get the D by itself, I need to get rid of that fraction. And remember, one way to get rid of a fraction is by multiplying by the common denominator in this case. There's only one thing in the denominator, so the common denominator is F. Multiply both sides by F. On this side, the F's cancel. On the other side, D equals F times M. So I have D equals F M. And notice I do make those capitals because if you don't, it will count it incorrect, which would be unfortunate. Uh, let's see if we can do another one. Okay, this one, um, I've got a problem here. I've got to solve for B. In this case, the B is not being multiplied. It has a H being added to it. So the way to get rid of the H is by subtracting H from both sides, once from this side and once from that side. So your answer should be that B is equal to J minus H. So this gives you the idea of how uh, some of these problems are going to work. Uh, we're going to go ahead and um, look at another type of problem as well. Okay, on this one, I'm trying to get A by itself. So I need to divide both sides by 5n. Need to divide both sides by 5n. So what I need to do is I need to click the divided. And that is a b squared minus 6 over 5n. b squared minus 6 over 5n. And then I can submit that answer. Uh, because the a was being multiplied by 5 and n, I can just divide by 5 and n. And that gives me credit for that one. Let's go ahead and try another one. Some of these can look a little different. Actually, probably each of these little literal equations looks a little different. And this one I'm solving for A. So when I'm solving for A, I've got to get A by itself. So I say, well, I'm dividing by N, so I need to multiply by M. So if I multiply both sides by M, and here's the key to multiplying by M here. Um, I have to multiply M by the whole thing. So there's two different ways I could do it. What I think it'll let me get away with, though, is just typing in my capital M and then putting my 4G minus H in parentheses because that says I'm not just multiplying the M by the 4G. I'm not just multiplying it by the H, but that parentheses means I'm multiplying it by the whole thing. So I should be able to submit that answer, and it would be correct. Now, another thing you could have done is it would have also taken it if you were to multiply that M through the parentheses. It's kind of a little extra work, but if you had 4GM minus HM, it also would have taken that as a correct answer. But like I say, it's a little easier just to kind of leave your parentheses and not worry about multiplying it through. But just showing you in case any of you thought about doing it that way, that would work. We might try one more if there's time. Okay, on this one, we're solving for D. So since I'm solving for D, I need the D is being multiplied by that parenthesis. So to get D by itself, I need to divide off that whole parenthesis. So I'm going to divide by G minus M squared. Or sorry, G plus M squared, I should say. Now, uh, to type this in, there's several ways I can do it. Uh, one way I can type it in is I can do the D. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the Q because it will cancel out on that side. So I can have the Q and then divided by a parenthesis, um, a G plus M. And to get the square, you can do shift six. And then that's one way to get it. The other way I could get it is I could uh, just type in the fraction bar first, and then I could put the Q on top and the G plus 